YouTube, it's your boy Cobra back at it with another video. Appreciate y'all tuning in to watch. Oh man, I'm out of fucking tobacco again. It sucks, but what do you do? So Jessica Boyle is pretty pissed off that I broke up with her on over her crazy shit. And uh, Drunken Peasants did a very good job covering her bullshit. And I was on their uh, stream last night, and they were very supportive. Thank you for that. You know, sometimes when I tap my pipe out in the ashtray, I get like a little bit of tobacco left over from the last bowl I had kind of thing. So I'll just take little pinches of that and stuff it in the pipe, you know, and it, it works. And Jessica Boyle is extremely immature. And she tries to ma manipulate people, but she's really bad at it, because everyone can see how fucking stupid she is. And on top of that, she's talking all this fucking shit. She's trying to get me to get pissed off and fucking lose my shit, so she can be like, See guys, I told you how unhinged she is. On several of her fucking streams, she's like, How is it stalking? How is it stalking? How is it stalking? I'm like, here's the thing of it. Here's the thing of it. If this shit were gender reversed... You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, she used to accept accountability for what she's done and just say, you know what, fuck it. Talking all this fucking shit. Jessica Boyle is the kind of woman that will push you to your breaking point and then play victim and entrap you. It's bullshit. Psychotic, manipulative, bullshit. Narcissistic, fucking bullshit. And you know I'm right, because you can tell by the way she talks on her videos, she's always twisting her words, trying to make it seem like she's the better person, and she can't just tell you the truth. Like, sitting there saying, in one video, Josh is nobody, and then in the next video, it's like, oh, I still care about Josh. It's like, I ended up spending the money my fans gave me on some Chatterbait coins, but what do you do? I've been watching Chatterbait for free for so many years, and I kind of feel bad now, so when I can, I tip my Chatterbait models. <laughs> yeah. Sitting here jonesing for some nicotine, I look over my in one of my pipe ash trays, and there's like a pile of, like, semi-burnt tobacco sitting in there, and I'm just like, <laughs> stick that in there. You know, and, and you tell Jessica Boyle shit in confidence, thinking she'll keep things under wrap and keep things secretive, but when she's mad at you, she does whatever the fuck she wants and doesn't care about the consequences of who it pisses off. And the drunken peasants last night did an excellent job of calling her out on her bullshit. I, of course, was in the comment section inserting my two cents. Hilariously, of course. And like fucking Jessica Boyle's talking mad shit about my lizard puff, and it's like, honey... If you had a bearded dragon, your cats would probably try to eat it, so go fuck yourself. No, she wants me to get unhinged and fucking blow up on camera, and it's like, I'm not going to give her the satisfaction of doing that, you know? Bringing up my ex-crushes that I no longer talk about on my channel, and that I've left completely alone in real life. Just doing anything she can to piss me off, and get me to make a video and flip out on camera. It's so fucking childish and immature. You know, and the thing I would ask is, if Jessica Boyle is allegedly not stalking me, then why the fuck does she want to move back to Casper? You could literally move anywhere else. If you're sick and tired of living at home with your parents, you could literally move anywhere else in the fucking world. The fact that you want to move to the exact same town I live in, and you know what I'm saying? Like, if Jessica Boyle wants to say in one video that I'm nobody, but in the next video, oh, I still care about Josh. If anyone's a nobody, it's Jessica. She would not be able to have a trip back to Casper if it weren't for my YouTube fans. Or trolls, even, if you want to be like that, you know? Jessica's a fucking nobody. She's 40 years old, living at home with mommy and daddy. And she's mad that I broke up with her, so she fucking says she'll see her do anything to try to make herself look like the better person in the situation. That's called uh, manipulation. And Jessica's horrible at it, because everybody can see past her bullshit. Thing of it is, Jessica Boyle's 40, but she still acts like she's in fucking high school. I can admit that I drink too much sometimes, but she can't admit that. You know? And all I wanted to do with Jessica 
when she was here, we'll sit down with her on the couch with a bottle of Jack and watch Tombstone, but you can't watch movies with her because she won't shut the fuck up. When she was showing me Bjork, someone she's into, I didn't ask a bazillion questions. I just kept my mouth shut and I listened and watched. People know I'm a good dude and I'm not the horrible piece of shit Jessica's making me out to be. Like Jessica wants to talk all this crap about me, about how horrible I am and all these accusations and shit. And it's like, okay, so then why the fuck do you want to come back to Casper so bad? Why the fuck do you still care about me then? Hmm? Don't really have any plans for Saturday. YouTube, probably going to work out my music. And then when I get my YouTube money, I can get that one one done. I still plan on doing it, but I want to make sure I have enough money to ship it out and get a cab to the post office and what have you, should I need it. And I remember, too, the customer who helped bail my account out of the negatives. I'm going to get that wand done. She wanted purple and green, and she wanted me to autograph the wand. And I can, I can do that with, like, a Sharpie and, and then put a bunch of Mod Podge on it so that way that it covers the, uh, the signature and seals it in. I mean, Jessica Boyle's been talking a lot of fucking shit on her fucking streams. And when I'm talking about her on my channel, I'm just defending myself. The stuff I say is the truth. It's very classic narcissistic behavior. When she got caught in her own bullshit, she then turns around and tries to play victim. Like, oh, feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for me. Why? I hate myself. And she, she doesn't get it, dude. I told her I'd call the cops on her. If she showed up to my house. And I did. And she got mad at that. I called her out on her stalking. And she didn't like that. That's why she's talking all this shit about me on fucking YouTube. And wherever else, you know. Like how she wants to get mad at Aaron for announcing to some random dude at the gas station about what happened with the titty sucking incident. But here she is telling the whole goddamn internet about it. That's what I mean, dude. She's fucking delusional and stupid. I can tell you right now, from my sharp memory, she's full of shit. At least I can admit, I'm mature enough to admit I'm a high-functioning alcoholic. And that I don't need alcohol to enjoy my life, but it does take the edge off. I mean, fuck, do you see me drinking right now? Fuck no. Jessica Boyle is the biggest clout-chasing grifter I've ever seen. Jesus fucking Christ. And I, beneath, beneath, beneath all the bullshit exterior of Jessica Boyle's crazy bullshit is a scared little girl. You know, and like nobody fucking believes her. People have been watching me a lot longer than they've been watching her. I have way more subscribers than she does. Nobody's buying her bullshit, dude. <laughs> Jessica Boyle wants to get mad because we didn't get to have a cemetery picnic. It's like, well, you want to spend the night before fighting with me. And then all day the next day, you're spending all day cleaning. And then it rains. I, you know what I'm saying? It happens. You can't have a picnic anywhere if it's raining. Sorry. And then for the record, I don't have a... I, don't, I used to have a favorite serial killer, but I don't anymore because I hate serial killers. They're the worst. So whatever bullshit Jessica Boyle spews out, don't believe a fucking word she says. Because she's full of shit. And I tried to be as patient as I could with Jessica Boyle. But she's got more mental problems than I do. And refuses to see it. But yeah, Jessica Boyle's fucking insufferable. Don't buy into her bullshit.